Hello friends and welcome to supposedly the last episode of apartment number 129. I know I've said that for two or, or three episodes, but now I truly believe we are at the end of the game. Last time I was a little dumb dumb. Someone in the comment asked me. Know where I have to. Jesus. That scared the shit out of me already. So someone commented that can I only put in four digits? Oh shit. That scared me again. Oh, oh hey, hey, hey. Don't be shaking. So someone asked me, can I only put four digits on here? I can put several digits. <laughs> I only tried four because it typically is four, right? So I'm a dum dum. So let's read this letter again. Or not read all of it. So we could put in eight digits. So might the code be 0503 2009? Let's try it. Hopefully it is. Oh. Oh. Can we delete all that? Oh. Three. Oh. Five. Two. Zero. Zero. Nine. Oh. But that's not the code. Did I do something wrong? Uh, maybe 2006? That's when she met him, right? 0305 oh, oh, 2006 Nope Why do you turn off the flashlight every time? Oh, it's 0503 oh, God damn it! <laughs> Not 03 oh, So it's a nine or six. Granted, yeah. And we got another a book with a hole in it. Or what? What now? I took the book. Shit, I can't remember what we are then supposed to do. Did it tell me in the last episode? Do we have to go back to door number 003? Oh, there's some, there's a letter here now. They loved those men more than Allah. They did not accept Allah's destiny and tried to change it. But Allah did not allow it. The soul of one of those girls is suffering here. You know, the pain that the dog you shot felt was actually felt by her. Good. Because she had become so brutal that she could even kill dogs to make her lover come back to her and love her again. Those men did not love them. They had forgotten them. They forgot Allah. For people who did not care about them and forgot them. So Allah also forgot them. What a terrible end for those who practice sorcery, right? Deservedly so, I believe. Come, I'm waiting for you at number 77. You have everything you need to open my door. Just remember the stories well and don't give up trying. Okay. So someone also said in the comments that what he didn't like about the game is the force feeding of religion in this game. I'm an atheist myself and I don't, I, I don't think we are being force fed religion or religious teachings. You know, it's something that adds to the story of this game. Right? 
So it's not force feeding religion, in, in my opinion. Room 77. Do we place the stuff here? What do we have to place here? We need a third thing, thing, right? Said we had everything that we needed. I put the gun here. Maybe I do. But now, I have no flashlight or... <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have a flashlight. But I have no gun. I have a gun. But I don't think we can use it. We can, okay. So it's good, we had two guns, right? Were we supposed to have that then? I'm not sure. So we are supposed to meet someone in here. Hello? Oh, someone's sitting there. Is that Batu again? No, Batu said it wasn't him that we were supposed to meet. So who's this guy? Was it you who left me the notes? It was very difficult to come here without losing your mind. Congratulations, you managed to do it. Who are you? What do you want from me? What have you gotten me into? Calm down, I didn't bring you here. I came to get you out of here and help you punish those who brought you here. So who brought me here? Who are we going to punish? Are we going to punish them? Or are you God? I am not Allah. Would you search for the game developer within the game itself? What do you mean? I don't understand anything. Can a being who created time and space exist within the time and space they created? Did you bring me here to give me a lesson? Just tell me how to get out of this cursed apartment. Yes, you're here to learn a lesson. What do you mean? Do you believe in uh, Allah, Emir? I used to believe, but I don't anymore. Do you still not believe, even after what you have experienced here? Today I fought serial killers in an inescapable apartment, and no one helped me except myself. The only thing I might start believing in here is the devil, because today, well if you believe in the devil, you also have to believe in God, right? Because today, it felt like I was in a simulation created by him. Life is a kind of simulation, and you are in a simulation within the simulation. Yeah? The simulation theory. You are right that this place is the devil's simulation. But you are wrong to say that no one has helped you. If you have managed to reach my apartment and meet me, it shows that there is a positive force or a powerful being who wants to get you out of this devil's simulation. I don't know what kind of game I'm in. I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to get out of here. If you know everything so well, show me the way out. Okay. If you want to escape, you have to trust me. I have a good plan. If you trust me, place your axe on the bust next to me and enter through the door behind me. There's a tape left for you there. Watch the tape first and then I'll come and explain the plan to you. Why should I trust anyone in this cursed apartment? I already left my gun to open this door. Why should I leave my axe too? Do you want me to leave all my lethal weapons so I can't resist you? Do you think you can resist me with a gun or an axe, Emir? Why don't you understand? You will leave all the items that can do harm, so that nothing evil can enter that room. You can only enter that room purified. You can enter with safety and the energy of faith. There is no physical key to that room, Emir. The only key 
to that room is goodness and faith. Do you trust and believe in me, Emir? I don't know what danger awaits me behind that door. I need the axe to protect myself. If I don't believe you, won't I be able to escape from here? Does the merciful being you speak of need my faith to save me? Is this a condition? He doesn't need it, you do. The power of believing illuminates a person even in the darkest times. Your inner faith will carry you forward because believing is the first step to achieving. Faith sees the unseen and makes the impossible possible. Here, your mind and eyes are in their control. So you can only get out of here by following the voice of your heart. Remember, simply escaping this apartment is not your salvation, Emir. Without purification, you cannot leave here. Do you want to save your body or your soul? Do you want me to stay or leave? So I guess we were brought into this apartment complex to regain our faith in Allah. So this really feels like we are being forced <laughs> now <laughs> in the game, I mean, no, to, to be, be, to be a believer. Will we trust him? Do we have a, do we have a choice? That other guy, Batu, said we shouldn't trust anyone. We should listen to our heart. And he kept repeating that we have to listen to our heart. You know what? I don't know. Yes, I'll trust you. Hello? So we were supposed to leave our axe on a bust? What bust? That was next to him? Ah, this... This thingy? Luckily we have two axes, so... <laughs> and we still have our gun. But we can't fire it, so... Because we were supposed to watch a tape in here. Congratulations, you escaped the apartment and took your revenge with your choices. Your cousin Burak was a traitor. Really? He conspired with his father to lead you to this apartment. That's the guy in the beginning that told us that we should go and investigate this apartment complex. After watching the tape that Burak left for you, you and the mysterious man trapped Burak and confined him to his apartment. Your choices were correct and you succeeded. So we have two different videos we can watch. We'll try and watch both of them if we can. So which one do we watch first? Watch the trap you set for a cousin, right? Let's do this one. Oh, uh, let me see if you guys can see this. No, you can't. Uh, so the video is bad, guys. So the video that we pressed is being played in my browser. So I have to change this to my browser if I can. Are you seeing this now? You are. Well, let's watch the video. So this is the trap we set for for our cousin Burak. Who's that laying there? Is that his father? Look 
Because he conspired with his father, right? It's so loud. No, that's us. Okay, that's Emir. Did we just kill Burak? Oh no. Two seconds. I don't understand. Is that French? Can we put it in another language? No English? There's no English, guys. Oh no. Automatic. Oh, you're going too far. English. Why did you... Seems like Emir went pretty crazy, you know? He got that crazy look and the grin. Oh, so now we are at locking Burak in this apartment complex. This is actually pretty good acting, you know? He's a good actor. Now you're going to live in one.
for a killer doctor. Batu. That's that guy, yeah, in my village that we met. Why did the translation stop? Uh, it's also his father, yeah? Or Emir's uncle. We're trapping his father in here as well. Oh, I wish we played Y Village before this game. I think that's what Y Village is about. You know, everyone is imprisoned in that city. You know, we met Batu in Y Village in this game. Damn it, should have played Y Village first. Welcome to your hell. Holy crap, what an epic, epic ending. Did you see this coming? That was his cousin and his uncle. The trap tried to trap him in there. Well, we got out of that hell, man. And now Burak. It's Burak's turn. Let's... Watch this video as well.
I can, yeah, we are still screen capturing. We have to watch some ads first. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the video that Burak left for us. You son of a bitch. <laughs> are you in a good mood? Now you're not. Now you are trapped in apartment number 129. <laughs> no, I won't. And why did you trap us here? Tell us that as well, please. So it was all an illusion in our head. I know. Why village or welcome to Kowloon? Because the building looked like welcome to Kowloon. Two A holes. Why did you do this? Why did I do this to Emir? Huh? They're just pure evil? I think so, because they lured many people there. I found him. Yeah. 
We met him. So that's why he sent us there to save his own sister. Eh? Sure did a good job of that. What an epic, epic game. And one epic end to the game. Can I remove this now? Here we are back. Wow. Wow. This is, this was epic. Wow, is that is all I <laughs> I got to say? What a great job by these developers! I be, I believe it is the developers that are the actors here. I'm not sure, but if this doesn't deserve, did you go and buy their game? Then I don't know. What an epic game! I'm so happy I I bought this game and played it for you guys. I'm just sorry that. We didn't play Y Village first. But maybe it really doesn't matter, I don't know. But now we know like the story of Y Village from here, you know? Wow. So if you like this video and this series, and if you like horror games, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss another episode. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.